Today we're going to take a look at the Ferrari 348 climate control system and its onboard diagnostics mode, which is super useful for diagnosing problems with uh, any part of the climate control system really. Um, you can manually actuate the blend doors, the water pump for the heater valve, the a AC compressor itself. Um, you can test all the buttons, you can get the, the readings of all the temperature sensors and all sorts of cool stuff uh, to help you figure out any issues you may be having with the system. So to enter diagnostic mode, you press and hold the footwell uh, ventilation button while switching the key to run. So you don't actually start the engine, you just turn the key to run there. Um, and it's gonna start the first of the four tests. Um, to switch between the four test modes, you press the heat button. Uh, so we'll leave this as is right now. This is test testing the pixels on the screens and the LED lights for the buttons down there. So it tests the first half and then the second half. And the way you can switch off is by pressing the AC button. This will alternate between you know the first half of the pixels and the second half, as well as the, the lights for the buttons down there. So that test is pretty simple. You just wanna make sure that everything is working. So after we test the pixels, we can move on to the next test by pressing the heat button. Um, this will say uh, RISC in, um, in certain markets. This second mode is to test the buttons. Um, and that's really all it does. You press a button uh, and the screen changes to tell you that um, the button is working. There is a specific code for each button in the document. So um, I can't imagine that one button would register as another, but you never know what your issue could be. So this just makes sure that each button is registering correctly. We'll press heat to go into the next mode. Um, and this reads the values of all the various temperature sensors. Now there's five sensors total um, and you can cycle through them with these buttons down here. Um, and it'll show the hex value on the display, which corresponds to a temperature value in the, the document on the temperature table. So we can go through these and you'll see it'll uh, display all the temperatures there. Fairly simple, uh, but it's a great way to make sure that your temperature sensors are working if you get weird behavior with your AC and heat. We'll press the heat button again to go into the next mode. And this tests the actual um, blend door motors that open and close to change from outside air to recirculation, uh, to blend from heat to uh, fresh air and, and things like that. It also tests the AC compressor as well as the auxiliary, auxiliary water pump for the heater valve. So to test that heater valve uh, pump, for example, we press the um, upper and lower ventilation button. And it brings up sort of a blank display there. This doesn't change when you're testing it, um, but you can turn it on and off by pressing the up or the down arrow. It's off by default, so we'll press up to turn it on and you should be able to hear it. There we go, so we can hear that pump running. Um, that is the pump located up in the front underneath the, um, the lining under the storage compartment there. So if you need to replace that or check the connection, you can do so from there. Uh, so we will go ahead and turn that off. And you can test uh, the position of some of the actuators here and then pressing the up and down button will actually move the motor. So you can, you'll can you hear it and then you should be able to uh, operate the fan at the same time, which you can do here. So we can turn the fan on. You can feel where the air is coming from as you actuate these motors uh, to make sure that they are doing what they're supposed to. And it's gonna show you the position of the motor as a hex value here, which isn't super useful because there's no corresponding table even in the, the factory service manual. So um, it just kind of tells you, you know, it's moving through its range and it'll tell you the value here. So this is the fresh air vent. Um, right now it's at position 83, whatever that means. Um, and we can actuate it here and you'll actually hear it moving if we uh, listen closely here. So yeah, that's what, uh, that's what you'll see there. Um, and that is about it. So check through that document. It'll tell you what all these do um, as, and all the values here, at least for the temperatures, it'll tell you what they all mean. And that is it for the test that you get here. This is the fourth test. Um, to return to normal operation, you would press the heat button again, uh, and then that will power on the system uh, back to normal. So that is it for diagnostics. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any issues with the climate control, feel free to post them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them and we will see you in the next video.